The annual Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas is the prime destination for tech companies to show us what they got cooking. Tech expert Avery Swartz is here this morning with some of the cool trends and products that were rolled out at this year's CES, which wraps up today. Avery, uh, great to see you. Let's talk about something a lot of people didn't see happening. Samsung and Apple playing nice. I know, it's crazy, right? You know, these see, are, they've been suing each other for yeah, years. Yeah, these are two companies that are usually in opposition. Yeah. And you know, Apple doesn't participate in the consumer electronics show, so usually they're absent, but they were kind of there in spirit this year because Samsung announced that Apple iTunes and also the ability to AirPlay from your iPhone or your, I, um, uh, your iOS iPod, device. Yeah, all your different iOS devices, excuse me. Um, you can do that to new Samsung smart TVs. Wow starting this year. So this is a kind of a, a look at the future and what's going to happen with the very, very rumored Apple content service yeah. that could be coming as early as this year. So you no longer have to have an Apple TV. You can use a Samsung TV and still and access so iTunes. Essentially, the Apple TV will be baked into the television. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that, that's, so people I know, are it's looking. pretty big. Yeah, that is yeah. a very, very big deal. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let's stay on the Samsung train for yeah. a moment because the micro LED. A little, yes. We've heard the buzz of the buzzword LED yeah. and yeah. OLED and right. AMOLED. And, right. What's a micro right. LED? Okay, so this is one of the most interesting innovations in televisions that I've seen in quite a while. So micro LED is a type of television and Samsung debuted this uh, last year and then they followed it up this year. So the idea is these are thousands of tiny LED um, you know, pixels. Pic well, it's pixels isn't technically the right term, yeah. but uh, you know, tiny, tiny little pieces of light in yeah. the panel of a screen for a television. But the cool thing about micro LED is it's modular. They are in panels, mm -hmm. and you can combine the panels in any kind of orientation that you want. So you can put them across and have, you know, if you, I don't know what kind of content you would watch, but you could have your TV kind of long and narrow or tall and slim. So it, it's the idea of being able to combine all of the panels uh, using this very, very strong micro LED technology. So from this personalization, let's stay on that for a second. Yeah. LG's got a, 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 a new bent. Yeah. If you will. Oh, I like oh, that. I like just that. made that yes, up. Yes, I like that. Talk about so, the rollable um, TV. So LG uh, debuted. Well, they didn't actually. They debuted it a year ago, but yeah. they announced that they're actually going to go into production with the LG OLED TV R, and the R stands for rollable. So just look at this yeah, thing. It really rolls cool. up yeah. like a projection screen. All of the sound and modular um, you know, components are in the base, mm -hmm. and then the screen rolls up. So I'm thinking this is great for people that don't want to have to look at a TV yeah. in My your mom house all the time. A lot of people grew up, uh, I grew up in a household where the television was in a, in a case. In a cabinet, you, you right? You open a cabinet yeah. to see a TV. And, and, and my mother, for example, was, had a tough time wrapping her head around this notion that it was uh, this, this centerpiece of a room yes. now. Yes, a very and big black she can box. Go back, she can go back to the way exactly. things were now. Exactly. Yeah. So this is the, the OLED, the rolling screen from LG. So a lot of television announcements this year at CES. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, talk to me about some of the other trends. What else sure. was on display? Sure. So, you know, CES is always so fun with all kinds of kind of crazy yeah. concepts, goofy things. So some of my favorites from CES 2019 was the folding robot, I the laundry thing. folding I robot. This, thing. I want this, this thing. is the this is the folding mate. And again, this is not just a concept. They're putting it into production. Um, so you know if you've been binge watching the Marie Kondo tidying up your house, yes. you're obsessed with folding, perhaps uh, you know this robot could give you a hand, the laundry folding robot. Um, and then the other thing that people were talking about a lot at CS this year was first to market, a Chinese company called Royal made the Flex Pi, which is a folding smartphone. Um, you know, it's, it's, yes, it, people, it's, yes. it doesn't fold flat. It folds with a, a rolling hinge. Yeah. Um, you know, people said that it was kind of um, adorably terrible. Yeah. Uh, that, but but, but, but technically, have, they are first to market. Yeah. You've got to be terrible in order to come up with the next iteration. Yes. The next iteration. And, you know, Samsung just announced yesterday that they're having an event in February, late February, February 20. And it's expected that maybe they are going to debut a folding smartphone that's maybe a, a, a step higher than the one that Royal had at CES. And Avery, something tells me that you will be here talking about that with us. Thank I, you I so probably much. will. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs>